the can and the can, which at the end of the day is one process. And the target for them was to reduce the delivery time from 25 days to 20 days. At the beginning it sounds to our experts also like an impossible challenge. <coughs> but going into deeply into their process, finding bottlenecks, we finally succeeded to reduce the process and meet the target. Um, it's a big deal for us. Um, the whole, they're talking about 240 CAD seats and 80 CAM. This product, uh, this, uh, this deal that was signed December last year. Um, and there were, when you look at the total and the complete um, deal, where we succeeded, we can't say that we can change the whole thing, but how to make an improvement of 25%. And 25% improvement is a big challenge. Sometimes it's the difference between being profitable or losing. One example was looking at the specific parts like the lifters of the mold. They were spending about half an hour, 30 minutes to make a lifter. And we find out that there are 20 to 30 lifters per project and we help them to, to, to work in a way that they can do it in one or two minutes. So we actually, at the total per project, we save them almost between one and a half to two days. So we were looking at specific points. <coughs> also, on the camp side, on the camp side, it's even more challenging. On the camp side, what we need to do is to look, as I explained, to become a very efficient production method. To find the right way to make the tool path. And for that, you need experts. And believe me, we are doing that day by day in every country. We are coming and analyze the process that you work. And this is the only reason why you should consider to change or to buy a CAD CAM software. Because the CAD CAM software, if you really analyze, it's a very tiny part of your cost. It could be 3 to 5% of the project cost. Take the cost of the software, add the maintenance that you pay annually, consider that you use it for, let's say, five to seven years, divide it by the numbers of projects and the cost, you make the cost analysis, you will find out that it's no more than three to five percent. What are your main costs always? It's the machining, it's, it's the human resource, the labor costs, it's the overheads. When you look at a project and you make the analysis, you see that this is 75%. These three are 75% of the cost. And if by improving your process and finding a different strategy of cutting, we can reduce the time of machining and being more efficient. If we can improve by this 20% that I'm talking about, 20-25%, you will cut 15% of your total cost on the project. And this is our goal. When my people are sitting at headquarters and designing and developing the project, the instruction for Simatron or for Gibbs for the people is come up with the best project. We are not trying to give you a mediate solution. You can find 50 can pro products in the market that can cut metal. Almost anything can cut the metal. Which software or which solution can put you to be special? Can give you the solution to become better, to improve your process? We focus there. 
if we believe, if we decrease our prices of CAD CAM and we sell it like some of the competitors that try to sell cheap and we decrease by 20, 25 percent the price and sometimes everybody is asking us for it. You're going to save less than 1 percent on your project. Less than 1 percent. Our focus is to give you the state-of-the-art product that will give you all the variety of tools in order to cut better, in order to come with a solution that at the end of the day will help you to save cost of 20-25% on your overall project. And this is where we are focusing. Thank you. So, any question, gentlemen, for Mr. Kobe after his presentation? Okay. Now, common, so, I mean, during the break time, you know, or lunch time later, if you have anything, you can come up with a Okay, sure. Well, uh, just one question. Uh, it's about uh, the machine and the automation process. Okay, for example, one, we have one machine and then we need to get some computers to make it fully automated. Is that possible for this machine? What do you want to do with the computer? Fully automated. Meaning that uh, we can upload, uh, we can unload and download, uh, unload and with the loading and unloading the, the products fully automated. Yeah, I think uh, this one first, I think. Uh, Maybe afterwards, you might you make an appointment to visit your site and look at your process, and from there we'll understand, you know, what we can provide to, you know, uh, make your process more automatic. Yeah, I I believe uh, this is possible. Yeah. But I can I can give you general answer. I'm not a technical person, okay? And even if I was. Um, I think Mr. Gunn is right for the fact that in order to really understand what are you trying to achieve by saying full automated, we need to understand what is your requirement. But generally speaking, is one of the main strengths of the software is the right blend, the right blend between automated and manual operations. And I said automated, not automatic because a lot of people, and I'm sure most of you, wouldn't like automatic things. Automatic by means you press the button and the software dictates what you do and you have no control. Nobody likes that. You like to be in control. You want to stop and you want to do manual operations because sometimes it happens that it's done in a certain way. This is not the way you would like to do it. Automated it means that uh, you can choose the strategy, you can 